waterfront property you've come across in Yale Town? Definitely seen a few over the years, but there was this incredible one. It's the penthouse of 1111 Marina Side. Adam Becker did the renovation. It's a beautiful suite, it's 2,000 square feet, over 800 square feet of terrace space to the nines reno. In fact, he's actually hanging some art there today. Why don't we go take a look? Let's do it. Hi, I'm Adam Becker with A. Becker Design. Here's one of the projects that I did in the last couple of years down on Marina Side. It's a penthouse. It's stunning. It's black, white, and it's just a perfect place for art. I'm going to show you around. Hey, welcome to this beautiful penthouse that we have here in Marina Side, Vancouver. Obviously, I came through this place. I did the renovation. I blew out everything. I had no idea where anything was. So here I was with an empty shell and I started by designing the kitchen. Here we are in this beautiful kitchen. It's a Modula Nova kitchen. It was uh, all porcelain, all custom designed, which I brought from Italy and we installed it all the way right through. Here we have the recess, paneled fridges. You've got the entire kitchen, which backs away. And you've got your melee appliances. So the client was definitely after a steam oven, which we you know, managed to plumb that in. Obviously, this is when the doors are open, but my favorite little trick is hiding everything. So if you've got a big mess and you've got friends coming over in the next few minutes, and they're on their way up, basically, you've got these beautiful, Modula Nova Italian doors that just close off everything. There you go, now you got this beautiful seamless look. You got the beautiful uh, frame stainless pieces that I did on the, either side of the kitchen, which is my own custom touch. And then you have this beautiful seamless kitchen and there's no mess. How awesome is that? So these materials here are, yes, they're all Italian porcelain. So, and the drawers as well. So you've got, um, you know, beautiful drawers on both sides. This is all porcelain. Here I had this, I designed this locally. This is all uh, a nice, beautiful ash wood. So we had that uh, burnt, flamed, to get that nice black texture. And here we have like also the chandelier above the dining table. This is uh, Brand Van Egmond. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful handcrafted custom chandelier. You've got uh, six person dining, you've got your hood fan, which we had to install, especially because that's a recirculating downdraft. One of my favorite companies, Dornbrot. So I love this faucet. It's very simple, classic, but you also have the nice uh, built-in, like, you know, porcelain sink as well. So very minimal, clean lines, not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of mess or clutter. So this is, uh, you know, one of my favorite kitchens, timeless. And over into the uh, living room, a combination of a sitting area and a TV room. So the client, young guy, who was after a massive screen. That was the biggest screen TV back five years ago, believe it or not. So that was an 80 inch, which was a special order. And now every day you get an 80 inch, no problem at Costco. So anyways, it's kind of funny how technology comes and goes, but everything in here is pretty much clean, simple, and like I said, timeless. And so anyways, in this living room, yeah, I basically selected all the furniture. Uh, we obviously have our classic Eames chair. You can see the beautiful Minotti sofa and uh, very nice white, very much Miami style. I was going for in here. So when building this place and going with the light and the white marble, uh, one of the key things was keeping everything else light. Um, so the couches are beautiful fabric and then going for the dramatic coffee table. That's, uh, and then the nice light rugs to cover a lot of the marble. And that's the thing people didn't see until we put everything out, what the finished you know, finish product would look like. I wanted to incorporate the building on this project because uh, it's, uh, it's not something I want to fight with. But as you can see here, we have the Lucabon panels on the exterior and I carried that exact same line right through. 
and then I've created my own millwork to match the Lucabon paneling from outside. Of course, this is just one of the three patios. As you've seen, there's the massive rooftop patio and that has the big fire pit and the barbecue and everything. But this is just a beautiful little, let's say Juliet balcony, but a big Juliet balcony. So anybody who has their boat down there can certainly watch and, and be on their boat within five minutes. So yeah, it's very cool, very cool. And so down this beautiful dramatic hallway, this is actually quite a nice long hallway, which is pretty rare. The one thing is that I love about the hallway and I do all this shadow detail. So when you get down low, you actually really do see this beautiful detail where the wall doesn't meet the floor. And it just gives that nice kind of floating light effect. And then you have the beautiful step lights which is create a nice cascade down there at night. It's gorgeous. And then obviously when we did the demo, we found all this open space here. And then you also have this very cool light. Doors are another big thing of my, my fetishes. So uh, just thick, heavy, solid doors. So again, with the nice, beautiful hardware. So we went with the anodized silver here. And then, um, yeah, so we ran those throughout the whole place. And so here we are, obviously when doing a whole renovation, going right down to the steel studs, concrete, one of the beautiful things is designing the kitchen, but also the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is obviously a key ticket when uh, designing a place. So here we are in this big spacious master bedroom downtown. And so I created a lot of like lighting details above. So you've got power blinds, you've got the lighting details around, you have Beautiful, thick, solid doors so the sound stays out. You've got beautiful marble floors and everything has been heated. So I've done the entire place, 2,000 square feet with marble and also new heat. Here's one of my most favorite beds. This is by Philippe Stark. And you have your floss lights. And uh, yeah, just a very minimal, minimal bedroom. And then you walk through here. The clients wanted a uh, nice open space. You got uh, the display area for handbags, shoes, or just keeping it simple and clean. Fantini is my favorite product. And this place here, I actually entered into the 2019 uh, Fantini Design Award, which is out of Milan. And it, they just finished building their, um, their first boutique hotel at, on Lake Orta. So I was asked to compete. And so I entered this penthouse for that award and the judges in New York actually, uh, they, they actually selected this one as the number one, number two uh, runner up winner. So, and up in here, you've got a uh, rain shower. You also have the waterfall, you got the body sprays and uh, yeah, basically it's not cheap. It's pretty expensive. So, and then you got the nice beautiful tub. We actually had to crane this tub up because of the weight and also we couldn't get it through the, uh, through the, the elevator doors trying to, anyways, long, long story, but. And so this is the award-winning bathroom from Fantini. And uh, yeah, it was a beautiful project to work on. So let's go to the next room. So here we are in the guest bedroom. In this situation, the client was wanting something a little softer, not so hard edge. So uh, with, uh, with the client, we decided to do a nice tufted velvet wall, which is actually quite nice when you're inside here because it does muffle the sound and really does take away that you wouldn't even feel like you're downtown. It's just a very nice, quiet room. And then obviously they picked the uh, nice little Schaumbach chandelier above, which is very pretty and dainty, but uh, you know, it's a different look. And so as you come in here, the one thing was I wanted the big glass sliding doors. Uh, again, we crane these ones up um, on the same day with all the other items, such as the bathtub and the master. So what you have here is uh, you have a full set of wardrobe, but also not that TVs are attractive. I decided to design this cabinet and put the TV right behind it. That way, you know, when you're not watching TV, it just simply hides when you close the door. In this bathroom here, once we demoed the ceiling, you can see again, it actually goes from a regular eight foot and then I go to up to a 10 foot high ceiling there. So it's uh, again, another way of just uh, getting is maximizing the space and, uh, and using every inch you can when you're doing these kind of renovations. And then we have one of the last rooms in the house and that's the office. This peaceful, quiet place to concentrate, do your work. This is actually one of the nicer rooms in the house just to kind of take the edge off at the end of the day. It really is a nice, nice room. And you get the afternoon sunlight that kicks through.
And on the upper deck of this penthouse, you got beautiful Ipe decking tiles. We got our Solus fire pit, which is next to none, the best concrete casting. And then we have the, uh, the nice sitting area out here. So everything has been brought in. Stainless steel planters. We've got the barbecue, we've got the fridge, we've got an ice maker. So really, the client was like, just make a cool party pad for me. And so that's what I really did. So here it is. It's a beautiful spot though to unwind and enjoy this evening. As you walk through this entire space, you get all this great lighting. So from the floor to the chandelier, to the cove, to the Brand Van Eggman chandelier, which is my favorite. And so you have this gorgeous, gorgeous effect throughout the whole day as the sun kind of rips through and passes through all the buildings. And then, you know, you just get this, this great space to live in. And I am gonna be sad to see it go. It's always a hard thing when I do all this renovation and hang the art and basically, you know, have to say goodbye. But uh, it's been a pleasure. Wow, I hope you enjoyed that tour as much as we did. And if you could see yourself on this penthouse rooftop patio, our contact information is below to book a showing.